congratulations on the win. Uh, finish Pat in one round. Is that kind of what you foresaw happening? You know what? Honestly, I wasn't uh, sure. Like, I, I didn't think I can finish him in the first round. I just knew that, you know, I'm, uh, I represented this country in three, sorry, four different sports, judo, wrestling, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and now mixed martial arts. So my ground game is very, very strong. Just because you're a good, strong wrestler and you're trying to take me down, like, you, you, you still go into my world, you know? So I wasn't sure, but I still, I didn't think I can finish him in the first round because I know he's very durable, very strong, and he gets out of the positions really quick. But it's just, um, just, it just worked out, you know? It was a good position. I tried to land some elbows from the mount, and once he put that forearm right on my neck, that's where I knew he's coming too close to my danger zones. And that's exactly where I was able to catch him with and capitalize on it, you know? Yeah, and you're the first to ever submit him, too, did you know that? I had no idea. Yeah. But he, you know what? He's, he's very strong. Uh, he's very good. But I just, uh, you know, power and strength is good. But you have to have some tricks behind it. And in this case, he kind of tried to overpower things. And that kind of uh, went towards, uh, towards me, you know? How much of a relief is it just to you know, be off that skid, you know, a big comeback win, first round finish, that kind of helps erase some of what happened in the past two fights? Right? I think so too. It just shows that, you know, I, um, I actually, after my last two losses, not that many people know, but I, I almost like went through like a depression, you know. I knew that I have to change things and because I know my potential. I know where I can be. And I felt like my last two fights, they ended so quickly and there was so much happening that I was just in the wrong place, you know, and I knew I knew I had to make a change, and I, I, I went after it, I did the change, and I'm just very happy with my new family at Extreme Couture Las Vegas. Uh, those guys are awesome in training, the coaches, and also UFC PI uh, coaches there, they helped me so much. Uh, they actually made me a little smarter, you know, the way I look at training, approach to training. It's not just training hard, it's very important to train smart, and I feel like I'm following those steps now and I definitely feel like an uh, improved fighter and I think this performance kind of solidifies that and uh, just excited, very excited. You called Volcan out after the fight and obviously that's something you spoke about uh, on media day as well, that's one you obviously want back. Uh, do you think the UFC is going to be willing to book that right now with the way the title the division is and if not is there anything else that interests you? Uh, you know, I know Vulcan, you know, I went through two losses and it's a little bit not fair because he was, you know, doing so good and I just want him to know that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be climbing back and I want UFC to know that, you know, my aim is really high and uh, it's just one day at a time and I know we're in the future we'll dance again. I'm sure he's not going to be the next guy, you know, obviously, but, you know, in the future, you know, a couple more wins for me. Uh, maybe another, if, if it's like another impressive win, uh, then I, I don't see why not, you know? Hardly scratch on you when you kind of want to come back to the Octagon. Um, I just, right now, uh, my wife is a little bit sick, so I'm going to Canada for about a month to help her with her health. And um, so I'm going to take pretty much one month off, and then right back, I'm going back to Vegas, and I'm going to be training another same thing. I want to do the same thing about two and a half, three months of solid work in Vegas. And then uh, in a kind of like Janu uh, like February, March type of a thing, uh, beginning of the next year, I'll be looking to uh, go back under those bright lights. You said you went through a bit of a depression during the skid. What was that like for you and how did you ultimately get through it? You know, <clears throat> everything I accomplished in UFC, it was pretty much uh, me, and my, uh, my friends and my, some of my students that I train with and I coach them. And then eventually we had like a really good relationship where I was coaching them and they were coaching me. Uh, guys like, you know, especially like Rob Santos. And um, we kind of help each other, you know. And we got to a pretty high level. We came into a top 10 together. And um, after those two losses, I kind of knew that, you know, we're doing a good job, but it's not enough to be in the elite bracket, and the elite, elite level. And what, that, what I mean by elite is kind of top eight, top five, you know? Because those guys, I mean, they have coaches, they have nutritionists, they have strength conditioning coaches, where all those things we've kind of been doing ourselves. 
And um, when I suffered those losses, I knew I'm not using enough of um, kind of resources. I knew there's more out there. It's just I was a little bit lost in a direction where to go, what to do. Because, you know, like I got some money, but then like all the taxes were killing me. I had to pay off and I couldn't make a move right away. And, and then just, you know, I went a little bit under depression in terms of like I was a little bit lost and confused, you know. And, um, and then me and my wife, we just talked about it. And, 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 you know, we just decided to just make a move and just go to Las Vegas. I reached out to uh, Eric Nixek. Uh, he's a general manager at Extreme Couture Las Vegas. And he said, right away, he said, brother, I can't wait to see you, you know what I mean? Let's do some work. What are you doing there? Let's do some work. Why are you not working, you know? And then that's where I went there. And then, I honestly, I had no idea that uh, guys like Ray Seifel is there, you know? I knew there's a lot of fighters, but I didn't even know that Ray Seifel was there. And when I got there, you know, we kind of like got along really good and they took me under their wing kind of thing. And uh, the rest is kind of the history, you know, we're working hard. And um, I actually want to add more things. I want to work even harder because I see that um, everything is coming together finally. You know, I just want to kind of build off that and keep putting the blocks and good strong foundation and keep moving forward. Okay. Thanks, Misha.